All right. We have recording. Okay, so here we go. Do you want me to start out with what's going on, or? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, um, you know, Lindsay's got a live schedule tonight, and and we're, you know, we we know that it's going to be the same song and dance, of. Um, she's the victim, we're stalking her, we're harassing her, we're doing all these um, things that aren't happening. And I said on my live the other night that every time she, she does this, that we're going to hit back. And um, so these are some screenshots that um, so she wants to call us a liar and she wants to uh, say we don't put out any proof. And we've been putting out proof back to back to back. And this is just more proof um, that people should be asking her to prove things. She's the liar. She's she's the one that is making all these stories. She's got a, an imagination out of this world um, and these conspiracy theories. And so, um, so let's let's go back in time a little bit to where just to go to the point of her going real life all the time she claimed that um all these things they did to mandy was um out of concern for mandy's well-being and out of the, the concern for others and she didn't want mandy to hurt herself or somebody and and also Lindsay claimed jonathan how many times did she claim she feared for her own life oh she told everybody that line of shit she's yeah. putting her in real danger yeah yeah so this is to show that she's a complete freaking liar that's all she does is lie so as we're scrolling through these screenshots i want you to keep in mind everything that she has said all these things that she is running from channel to channel live chat to live chat panel to panel her own panel um calling us us the the attackers you know we are we we are her. victimizing her and re-victimizing her and um it's just all bullshit. she has now she is still running with the idea that joko has files on her daughter jonathan for one more time can you explain i, I know joko did last night but there may be some people that did not see that um can you explain what what that's about yes lindsay threatened to go to the george floyd protest there in tennessee and make signs about her daughter and the custody case that she's got going on and hold up signs in the middle of the George Floyd pro protest because you know that's 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 about Lindsay you know make it about Lindsay and that's what those files were is the screenshots of Lindsay talking about going to the George Floyd protest both of them both of them had the same and if people would watch the damn video instead of just jumping to a conclusion and running with a narrative sounds like somebody else we know Right. Um, they would see that Joko clicks on the damn files uh, and shows each one individually and says this is where she was talking about going to the protest and holding up signs about her daughter in the custody case. It's there. All you got to do is, and it's been commented on. I commented uh, one of her posts that she made. I went in and commented respectfully even and said if you watch the video to the end joko clicks on the file names and you can see what she's talking about and, and it she goes into detail about it and lindsay replied okay thanks right and she's still today running with this narrative that, oh she's got files on her computer that have my daughter's not whatever <laughs> she knows what the, those are right she acknowledged my my comment two days ago when the video was first put out um, I can't see that to read it to everybody. Um, do I need to get, um, can you enlarge the screenshots or can, do I need to get it? There we go. Okay. Let me do this. But, but to, to reiterate what you said, just so everybody's clear, the folder that you saw on Joko's um, file that says LH's daughter is just a file where she was keeping together the screenshots of the things that Lindsay was saying about brain, you know, about the protest. Is that correct, Jonathan? Yep, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you, you know, absolutely, there's no, 
Joko wouldn't dare keep files on someone's child. She was keeping a file of her screenshots together, and that's she just labeled it that because it was Lindsay talking about her daughter. She was not keeping freaking files of things about Lindsay's daughter, as she would have you to believe. Nobody is stalking Lindsay. Nobody is stalking no. her. We are keeping actual digital evidence of the shit she does online. Okay, I mean, so... I just clicked this, on, I ain't even got shit to do with her daughter. I, I thought yeah. maybe that was the one where I just typed LH daughter over and over. That's actually a token from a help site from like two years ago, so it wouldn't do anybody any good to try to use it now. It's outdated. But that was where I got support for a, a, an antenna that I was using. So... <laughs> Yeah, but it's named LH Daughter, in case anybody's wondering. I clicked on it, too. <laughs> There's people in their narratives, I swear they're ridiculous. I swear, it is just, you know, I mean. And, and the thing is, is that Lindsay is not a dumb person. She is banking on everybody else to be dumb and believe her bullshit. So, anyway, I'm moving on. Huh? I'm not falling for it. Uh-huh. So, moving on, this is um, Lindsay. Lindsay has been given a screenshot from Foz. It says, y'all keep this here. Foz says he got this from a fake account. Look, he thinks Mandy is playing all of us. Now, these screenshots that we're showing you right now also came from the Wreck Mandy chat. In the screenshot, there, there are things being exchanged between Mandy and John, which is Paula's husband. It's innocent conversation you can read it for yourself i'm not going to take the time to read all that out uh john is basically saying this is facebook you know this in real life who cares who gives a shit um and so then that's how most normal people look at this kind of stuff okay go on to the next one so most normal people look at it like that until we get to Lindsay. she says um well, Karen says, this is very troubling. Lindsay said, yeah, and Foz wanted me to drop it in hell chat. I told him, no way. I said an alt should, or he should say he got it from an alt account, etc. She's contacting me privately as well. This is very troubling, Karen says. I'm not going to repeat this, but my approach is going to totally change from here on out. Okay, so Lindsay, being the sneaky snake she is, doesn't want, she wants to drop that in hell chat, to provoke, Lynn, to provoke Mandy. But instead of doing it herself, sneaky snake, she wants to do it under an alt. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Lindsay says, I think we should just be pleasant to Mandy, but not swayed or manipulated by her. I think she's helping Nicholas and knows exactly what he's doing. Nicholas is the guy that you heard in a video that we dropped not long ago that was talking about Lindsay harassing him um what what all was said in that video jonathan i don't remember the exact details but basically what they did to him was they struck his youtube channel because this is how they get personal information and people in this community probably know the the narrative before it happens you get a strike you fill out a counter-strike and you put in your information in the counter-strike form and it's your name address telephone number email all that stuff and he put, Nicholas put his legit info in the Counter-Strike that Justin and Foz filed on his channel. Then they had his address. And so they started right. sharing that around with his real right. address, like his home address in it. Right. And Lindsay, Lindsay started sharing that around. And I believe, didn't she even drop that in Hill Chat? His, his, his information, his address and all that? Yeah. yeah. So Tiffany says. She says Foz I, did. Yeah, her and Foz, yeah. Tiffany said, I don't take anything Mandy says seriously. Oh, but wait, everybody. I thought they were terrified. I thought they were deathly afraid of Mandy. Tiffany says, I don't take anything Mandy says seriously. Never have. She never stops to get all the info before lashing out, like Megan. Megan would be Pink Dagger. Uh -huh. Lindsay says, that is very true. Okay. Tiffany says, it is all in hell chat. 
Mandy, all this shit she's been mad about and making people fight about looks like she was plotting with Paula. Always Paula. So because Mandy had talked to John, she's plotting with Paula. That's some Lindsay thinking bullshit right there. To start all this fake drama, to get everyone worked up, Tiffany says. Karen says she's just fucking with us all, and she has been the whole time. Lindsay says, I know. Okay, Caitlin, who is Josh Self's girlfriend, says, and right now we think they are planning something big to hurt someone, yes? Lindsay says, I don't know what the goal is. I think Justin, who is Wolfstar, is a target. Possibly me, Foz, and Holly, too. But hold up, Jonathan. It's my understanding. I don't know about everybody else. What about you? It's my understanding that they were in fear for their lives. But here she says, I don't know what the goal is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every day it was the same old, same old. They're, they're in fear. She's threatened them with real harm. This doesn't look like somebody that is scared, that is terrified, that is, you know, concerned for their lives. So Josh Self says, but what could they realistically do, Lindsay Hensley? Say something mean? See, he, he's actually talking with some sense. I can't see all that, but I don't think that message actually, that screenshot even matters. But um, yeah. Tiffany said, read the very first message on here. See how it says Mandy C instead of Mandy C? Mandy uses voice to text. That is 100% her. Lindsay said, I want to know the dates on those screenshots. <laughs> Tiffany said, we read the whole chat, the video. Nowhere did he threaten that. She was setting up for it, I think. Lindsay said, say that in, in hell chat. That's what I was trying to say. So again, Lindsay is paving the way for a bullshit narrative and to provoke. I mean, you can you can corroborate this, Jonathan, how she likes to provoke people. Oh, yeah. Do live after live after live, talking shit when people ain't even around to. Right. I mean, same thing. So Tiffany says, remember when Mandy and Paula started all that shit about Paula being suicidal? Tiffany says, that is what prompted the shit with her sending the police to Angela's house. She is the worst kind of troll. She will fuck with you real life. Um, Tiffany says, you guys are spot on with that. The way Mandy left, then Paula. Holy shit. Caitlin says, sorry I've been late, guys. A lot has been going on. I'm just not catching up on everything. I'm just, I guess she meant I'm just now catching up on everything. Can someone do a short little recap for me? Tiffany says, it's all in hell chat. Mandy, all this shit she's been mad about and making people fight about. Looks like she was plotting with Paula to start all this fake drama to get everyone worked up. Again, all Paula. This has been the narrative for years now. All Paula. Uh, Lindsay said, do you see, look, her BFF, do you see Holly and Hellchat still trying to pick a fight? At the time, they were at each other's throats. Uh, Tiffany said, no, I just got done searching for that screenshot. Lindsay said, saying that I used Mandy and shit, she will not stop her bullshit. So right there, Lindsay is repeating what Holly is saying in Hellchat. Holly is saying, that Lindsay used Mandy. Am I reading that right, Jonathan? That's what it's like. Hmm, that would blow their narrative out of the water. Yeah, so that, that's the, you know, to, to be clear, that's the point of this whole um, live right now is to show that Lindsay's a fucking liar. Nothing she says is true. She's a shit starter. She loves the drama, and this is what makes her world go round because her real life is so miserable. So here we are with Karen again. I'm sorry she cho chose you, but I do strongly wonder why, because you had no part in this publicly that she would know of. Oh, that sounds shady. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Pay close attention, guys. Pay close attention. It's like saying something without coming out and saying it. Right, right. 
you don't, you you say just enough to let you know, but not to incriminate yourself. Yeah, that's a Karen. That's a true. Dip. That's yeah, that's Karen. Karen. And then the the last two might need a. Okay, so okay, so that's the last of those about Mandy. Yeah. Okay, so the purpose of showing you guys all that is to show you that she's a fucking liar. Lindsay's a fucking liar, and whatever she has to say in her life tonight will be fucking lies too. Um, you can see plainly see right there, they they were, and and Lindsay leading the way to provoke Mandy. But they were so scared of her, right? That's what they're telling everybody over here. That's their excuse for their behavior, is they were so scared of Mandy. They were so scared of what she would do and, and, and you know, all these things. But clearly, they are provoking her, wanting them to drop things in hell chat that will trigger her under alts. And um, when asked about, um, you know, what, what Mandy's goal was, Lindsay didn't say anything about, you know, harming her or her family or that she's been stalking her or whatever the fuck else that she has told everybody over here. She said, I don't know. Don't know what her intentions are. Okay, so these last two screenshots, to give some context to them, as part of them going real life on Mandy, there is a screenshot of Mandy's sister who was selling some pillows on a buy, sell, and trade site on Facebook. They found her. They sought her out. They found her, and they wanted to comment on her pillows to um, make contact with her. They, they didn't have the balls to do it under their real names, which they never do. Just like when people from my real life were contacted, it was not under anybody's name that I knew, um, and they never do. That they never do. Lindsay always uses alts when she does this. So if you guys, let's go back in time again to when I told my story. If you remember when I said that I had a fake account that I set up specifically for the purpose of catching Lindsay up where I could get her IP. Okay, the name of that account was John Burroughs, which is a... Um, it is the name that Elvis used to check into hotels um, so as not to be recognized if, if paparazzi or whatever sought him out. That's the story behind that name. You're going to see a screenshot where Tiffany says, use the old Jennifer alt. Well, I never had any alt except for that one, and it was only used for that one time to to trick Lindsay into logging into it for me to obtain her IP. Okay, so, um, yeah, right here. Tiffany said, Lindsay Hensley, we can use the old Jennifer. So, when I let, I had given, like I said, think back when I told my story, I had given Lindsay access to this account that was the purpose of the account to obtain her IP. Um, and, you know, I had given her the login information and all this, and she fell for it, and she did, and the rest is history. So when all that came, when I got done with that, I, I, when I left, I didn't bother taking that, you know, do, changing the password on that account. I never looked back. I never used that account again, never logged back into it. I was done with it. Apparently, Lindsay kept it, and um, like I said, I didn't know that. I never tried to log back into it. But apparently, Lindsay kept it because right here, this was long after I was gone. Tiffany says, we can use the old Jennifer alt. Tiffany said, to message her sister, speaking about Mandy's sister. Uh, Mandy's sister. Lindsay says, fucking brilliant. Yes. Okay, so Josh Sell says, I commented on the pillows she was selling telling her to check her spam messages. Okay, if you'll look, there is, now the screenshot we just showed you said, use the old Jennifer alt. Again, that name was John Burroughs. Right here, it says Aaron Presley. 
which tells me they changed the name on the account. First of all, why? And if you are going to change the name on the account, why associate it with Presley? Hmm. Aaron is, is Elvis's twin brother that died at birth. Why would you put that on the name? Obsessed much? I mean, that's ridiculous. You could have changed it to Joe freaking Smith, but you choose, you choose Aaron Presley. And what's the bottom part say? The last part? I can't. Yeah. Oh, uh, Josh says, there. so apparently they had given the, the alt to Josh to use, and he was the one doing the messaging. And Josh says, I'll just leave the alt logged in on my laptop unless she replies. But they don't go real life. No. Lindsay doesn't go real life. They don't use alts either, do they? No, I'm going to shut up, John, because seeing this pisses me right off. Like this, this Josh guy, he's just it's another one, just like, uh, what's his name? Jax or whatever his All name right. is. Uh, uh, just using different people to do her dirty work. Exactly. I mean, you, you think he had the brilliant idea to do this by himself? No. Lindsay put him up to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's how she thinks. Lindsay is the ringleader. She is the one that is responsible for the chaos in this community. I am so sick of seeing comments on her poor pitiful me victim ass post that she makes of certain people saying, you know, we're so sorry they're doing this to you. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on over to my channel and look at my community. Look at my videos. If you leave my channel still believing that, then that's a problem of your own. This is ridiculous. And it, it's, it's just like Joko said. Maybe some people need to take uh, time away and step back and just get out and enjoy life and then come back and look at how ridiculous some of this shit is that, that she does. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, Jonathan, it is to the point that it's it's sickening how she is hopping from live chat to live chat. And, you know, Country Joe, we'll use her for an example. Today, she had an, an issue. I don't even, I didn't watch it all. I caught it right at the end. <coughs> Apparently, somebody is, is going real life on her. And um, when I hopped in to, to listen to what was going on, first person I see is Lindsay. But Country Joe can't even tell her story without Lindsay in the damn chat making it all about her. Oh, I know what you're going to going through. There, the, I'm being harassed and I'm this and I'm. I mean, it's fucking sick. Yeah, I'd like to tell her if she this is affecting her real life. Show how. It wouldn't be that exactly. hard. Show how. I heard somebody else say today that people donated to her fundraiser. And folks ask for a receipt, and all she showed was a picture of a dog. Don't even know if it's her dog. Just showed a picture of a dog. Didn't show right. any kind of receipt. Right, right. Why is it and, not and fair this, to the this, people? This is coming from the same people, her and Holly specifically, that were screaming transparency. Be transparent. Be transparent. Where's your transparency? Where are your receipts? Where's your proof? We're dropping shit like hotcakes over here, and they're not dropping anything. Nope. Somebody else did a fundraiser, and they wanted medical records and everything else on that poor girl. Right. And exactly. I'm not saying there was anything right about that. I, I fully believe that that was a, a fucked up thing, and, and there was some swindling going on somehow. I don't know how, but. Right, right. It, it was wrong. But they went so far, instead of just, you know, getting the fundraiser shut down, no, they went so far into this girl's life, they wanted pictures of her being pregnant. And, and I know, because I was there for that. I saw every yeah. bit of that. It's ridiculous. But it is. here they are. Lindsay ain't showing shit. People donated to cover what? What did they donate for? She won't even show them what they paid for. She posted a picture of her dog with a bandage on his leg that... Quite frankly, she very well probably put around her dog's leg herself. Yeah. I mean, I've got some Cobain. I keep, I keep here. Right. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just ridiculous that, that she sits over there and she goes from channel to channel to channel, you know, 
crying as the victim mm -hmm. and she's now running with this thing she thought she hit the jackpot by joko showing a folder named lh's daughter and she ran with that i mean i mean to, to fit her narrative never mind the truth she don't give a shit about the truth when it's about her no it don't fit the narrative no and I'm sick of her. I'll call her ass out every time. She, you know, we've released a little bit here and there. We all have lives and jobs over here. We, but we've still managed to drop shit every day or at least every other day. She doesn't even have a job. She spends 24 hours a day online and she can't, she doesn't prove anything. Yeah, and I know she got a receipt from the vet. And all Absolutely. the time she spends online, she can't take a picture of the receipt and redact the, the identifiable information. Right, right. I mean, it was probably that Dixie Day spay or whatever it is that did it. Uh, yep. So, I mean, just show the receipt. Yeah, just show the receipt. I mean, you, you can scream transparency. You sure don't you didn't mind demanding it from Natasha about her fundraisers and her, her pay pools and all that. But when you're asked about it, you know, th then she comes up with, well, if you donated, email me and I'll send you, I'll have no problem sending you a copy. You lying bitch. You're banking on whoever me that emails you that you're smarter than them and can fool them with whatever fuckery you send them. Yeah. Just post her, it publicly where we can all look at it. Right. Uh, yeah, wanting people to email her. And her, her reasoning for that was because the people that asked in the comments for a receipt, had never commented on her before. And part of the replies to that said they didn't want to. They were using an alt on purpose because they didn't want to be attacked for asking for a receipt because everybody knows how Lindsay's followers are. They'll attack people for something like that. Right. I mean, look at Jax. Jax don't even know me from Adam's fucking house cat, and this dude's going all in on based off shit Lindsay has, has said to him. He don't yep. know me. Right, right. Never talk to the guy or whatever. Nope. nope. <laughs> no, and, and, you know, he, he thought he was, you know, Natasha's bulldog. And he's, he's, he's following the same role over there with Lindsay. But he's making her look just as stupid as he is. Um, it's just the whole, the whole situation with, you know, that she's running everywhere. And, and he, Jax is hanging on every word. And let him. Let him be a moron. I don't care. I'm worried about all the people out here that genuinely have an interest in this community. Um, and and I, I'm sick of this. I mean, and, she's out here lying and scamming and conniving and playing victim and, and you know, vilifying all of us. And she's the fucking are, problem. She's probably got something on him that she can use to keep him in line. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. That's how that's how she works, and that's why she has tried so hard today to throw Angela under the bus because Angela has finally found her voice and has said, "Fuck you, no more." This ends now, and Lindsay don't know what to do with herself. She can't stand it when she loses control. Well, if you look back, when when Holly was doing a live and Lindsay had to go under her alt casual observer to mm -hmm. comment on that live because she got timed out or whatever Foz was in that live and that's one of the last times he was even around because Lindsay came in that that chat and said that she was ready to show some of the shady shit he'd done behind the or was how did she word that something about doing shit behind the scenes talking to Foz and that's one of the last times I've even seen him in a lot. Yeah, a she made, I remember what you're talking about. She, she made some, I can't remember verbatim what she said, but it was something about, um, we can talk about the shit you do behind the scenes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So she's got shit on him to keep him on a leash. Yep. Yep. I mean... And this is what he's not does. participating in her bullshit, but he's not participating, period, because his ass, is, I've been saying for a while now, he's hiding too, because, I mean, he knows, he knows how deep this goes with them. He's one of them. Yep. And I'm here to tell you, Lindsay, I've had enough. You talked about me for fucking months, and I've sat and just said nothing. I'm done. I've had enough. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you got to say. 
if you want to chat, by God, invite me to a panel. You won't do it. All right. She won't, and I ain't got shit to say to her anyway. I'm not going up on her panel for her to berate me and talk shit to me and and her fucking comment section go crazy. No, uh uh-uh. And exploit it for views. That's all she's, you know, she's clout chasing, bottom line. All she can do is repeat the same old tired narrative over and over and over again. You'd think people would get tired of hearing it. They don't. Right. They eat it up like candy. Yeah. It's they're waking up though. They are waking up. I mean, people are people are getting tired of this shit. I get messages all the time, and, and I'm starting to get a lot of emails now. I've actually got three today, um, but I've noticed over the last week I've gotten an influx of emails asking about certain things that we've talked about, and and I welcome that. If yeah. anybody has any questions, email me or Jonathan. Um, we're happy to answer you, and yeah, we're happy email, to back it up with proof. Yeah, my email's only about on this channel. On the channel, it's it's only the about just where everybody else is. Is it's the Cajun mm-hmm. Mail at protonmail dot com or whatever, right. Cajun Pride or whatever. I don't know. It's there. <laughs> That's my email. Yeah, just to, mine's under my about section and his is under his about section. So I'm gonna be linking his channel to um, in my about section for easy access for you guys. If anybody's interested, if you are not subscribed, I encourage you to go subscribe. One of us are always coming out with something. So, um, but that's about all I've got. I'm ready to upload this and show some more truth. Yep, let's do it. All right, see you soon. Later.